Yeehaw, convict cichlids. Yeah. Hello everyone, just wanted to show you my fluidized sand bed filtration. I have one in the 10 gallon tank that's established. Another one I just put in the 20 gallon tank that is not. And we'll show the differences between a sand bed filter that is established, set up, ready, going, with all the nitrifying and bacteria, and then the difference between that one and a new one. So, here we go. Alright, this is one of the 10 gallons. There are three in this tank. This one has the fluidized sand bed. This was nothing spectacular. It's all DIY. It's just for fun. In the back there's a power head and it's sucking water through this filtration and then it spits it out right here. It's just a glass jar with sand. It is the same substrate or same material, media, and that is I have for substrate which is uh, play sand actually from Home Depot, Lowe's, your typical box store. That's all it is. Now, if you'll notice, this one has a bubbler in it. There's a reason for that. You may have read, fluid ice sand beds scrub the oxygen out of the water. This is very true. The fish were kind of gasping for air because they were a little bit low on oxygen because once the bacteria are established, you don't notice it in a new one if there's no bacteria. But once the bacteria are established, they begin to scrub the oxygen out. There was a bubble right there. And it might catch an occasional bubble and suck it in there. But if you look, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but you can just see how much oxygen is literally just getting scrubbed straight out of the water. All those tiny bubbles are coming out of the fluid ice sand bed. But this is an Aquatop MR20 fluidized, or media reactor I should say. This is sand in that one. Let's see if our camera will focus. Oop, floating around. This one, there is no, that is the outlet, this black one right here. That's the outlet for it. Right now, this has only been in here for two days. It's brand new. There are no, there's very little nitrogen in this tank anyway, nitrates, ammonia, but there are no bacteria in this sand, not to speak of. Therefore, there's no oxygen bubbling out of there either. But in about five to six weeks, it usually takes that long for everything to get fully established. I fully expect to see that happening here too. All right, but in short, in summary, I highly recommend them. They're not exactly pretty, depending on how you set them up but they work great in plant tanks, of course, because they don't take CO2 out of your tank. But uh, as far as filtration or bacteria for bio load for having a lot of fish, too many fish even, in a given tank, they work really, really well. This one's been set up, as I said, for five or six weeks. You don't have to do anything to it. It just goes, it takes care of itself. It, scrubs itself, it keeps itself clean, there is no maintenance at all. Just make sure it turns back on if you want to put a battery back up on everything to keep anything running in the event of a power outage you can. It's the only problem if there's a power outage and all the sand sits back down to the bottom. But as soon as you unplug it, sand goes down, plug it back in, pump picks back up, and starts up again. So I haven't had any problems with that. But in short, fluid ice sand bed filtration. Um, I believe it's a really good way to go if you have time to mess with it and the room to put them in your aquariums and stuff. I sure do love me them convict cichlids. Mm-hmm.